Okay, eye contact. Okay, alright, okay. And also the chief financial officer is over here as well. Yeah, chief financial officer. So today, I have a very serious matter to talk about, which is our quality of our report delivered to customers. So why do I say this is a very severe problem? Uh, it's because eight out of ten customers. Okay, stop, stop. Now you are doing you are doing this all the time. It's also this. It's also this. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 8 out of 10 customers that the report they purchased just within the month itself, we receive quite a number of feedbacks uh. and complaints as well yeah. about the quality report. The quality of report? Yes, which is the data and the information in the report itself. Okay. Awesome. How many customers have complained? How many customers have complained? Yep, like I say, 8 out of 10 customers within a month by itself. I received a lot of complaints, a lot of feedbacks. Uh, 8 out of 10? Yeah. Yeah. We, have, we have 100 customers, meaning you have received 80 complaints. Wow! Are there a big customer? Yeah. No, 80 complaints. You have 100 customers. We have 100 customers. Uh -huh. You say out of 8 out of 10 has complained. So meaning 80 customers have complained. Yes, exactly. So this oh my is God. The problem is that we have 80 know. customers have complained. Yes. <laughs> so, so, you, so you see, this is uh, how it uh, affects our company credibility you know, our trustworthiness of customer buying report from us that they want to see real-time data but these are the information that they obtain which are not relevant or until to the extent that it's not uh, any good use of having this report that they've received. Are they planning to leave? Sorry? Are they planning to stop their subscription or and, stop buying and, from and, us? And, to this uh, very important issue, they some of them may have threatened us that they want to unsubscribe. No, no, no say may have threatened, have threatened. They have threatened us that uh, they want they want to unsubscribe our services, Whoa. which will be a which will be a, a huge threat to our company revenue loss. How how many customers have threatened to leave? All the 80 customers? Yes, they have verbally uh, mentioned it when I oh my God. do a follow up with a customer. 80 customers? How much potentially are we, we may lose? Uh, in terms of revenue, we are looking at an estimation of uh, 3 million ringgit Malaysia just within, uh, I would say, uh, the first quarter of the year from January up to date. Three so, million? Yeah, as we can tell that we are losing out uh, these potential customers. Yeah. Or oh, potential, they are not our customers yet. Oh, they are our customers and also uh, on top of that with, addition, uh, with additional potential customers that we may lose out as well. Now I'm confused. How many potential, how many are our customers? Uh, 80 is our customer. So on top of that, there are also other potential customers in future that they may want to consider right. using our services as well. What is the value that we stand to lose in revenue? Yeah, of course the main reason, the first main reason would be our revenue loss for the company. And secondly would be the credibility of the company. Yes, I know, but the revenue loss, how much are we uh, talking about? Where's the value of our potential loss? Uh -huh. What is the value of our potential loss? What is the value of yeah. our potential loss? I don't understand. Total now, uh, what, what is our annual revenue? 10 million. 10 million. Yes. Then 80 means 8 million. Mm -hmm. 
we may lose potentially oh, if we don't we, take any action. If we don't take if any, we don't if we don't take any serious action from now this moment onwards, we so may we lose up to eight million dollars per annum. Whoa. So That's this is a very huge. severe problem that this is severe really problem. Need to yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. And so with this problem arise. I suggest a proposal to solve this following problem. Yeah, yeah. Which is okay. because um, we should invest. We should invest. We should invest and also improve our own resources, starting from our own resources, uh, which is our own internal resources uh, existingly, which is our uh, operation team, to have them well equipped with the knowledge. Uh, in terms of doing uh, more comprehensive financial analysis or write-up, you know, uh, and also uh, uh, do frequent uh, reading materials to, oh. to improve our report quality. Because uh, customers that buy our credit reports, they are financial controller, they are credit controller, they are the decision maker so they they know they know very well what information in the report is important for them to assess their subject company uh, uh, financial performances so they know very well how to read a report they know very well how to evaluate customers are you saying that are you saying that our report is low quality our report is low quality because, because I will be a copy and paste. I will be a copy and paste. Yes. What? <laughs> the copy and paste. Our, our report is the standards are not on par compared to the price that customer have paid for. Copy which, and paste report. Copy and paste report. Yes, because the information that we obtain in the credit report, for instance, uh, okay. appendix information uh -huh, uh -huh, report, uh -huh, uh -huh. we obtain from the Ministry of Finance uh, portal, from any of the reading materials that we obtain uh -huh, from, uh -huh. in which uh, we don't paraphrase or we don't uh, uh, simplify in our own format to put it in the report. So from customer perspective, from their point of view, we are indirectly just doing a copy and paste information in the report, oh. which we may uh, use it as a point, as a value-added services for customer. Right. Yes. Right, number two? So, yeah. so uh, yeah. number two, yeah, this is the proposal. Oh, that is the proposal. Yeah, yeah, that's the proposal to, to invest and improve our internal resources. Uh. So have a, a more detailed write-up right. for the analysis. Therefore? So, therefore, um, the, the, benefits, the benefits of uh, proposing this idea ah. to this solution uh, would be, uh, we'll be able to... Number one? Number one, we'll be able to save our company's reputation, credibility, uh, to gain the confidence back from our customer, to tell them that uh, we are actually doing something to improve our quality in our report. Ah. Yes. Always remember that. Uh, always, always remember that. So always remember that. A good, a good reputation. A good reputation. For trustworthiness. For trustworthiness. Cannot be measured. In dollars and cents. In dollars and even cents. Oh, see? Mm -hmm. Okay, number two. And number two. What is the benefit? So, therefore, when we improve our quality of the report and uh -huh. services, Good. Uh, our revenue will then increase. Yeah. So, this is what a company would. Uh, uh, look into and would want this to happen in our financial uh, financial evaluation for our own company progression.
trend because every company would want uh, their financials to increase on a yearly basis uh, regardless whether if it's just a 1 or 2%. Uh -huh. We still want to look into uh, a growth uh, percentage of our company's businesses. Right. And the third point uh, would be uh, the increase of our potential number of customers as well. So when when we gain our reputable, uh, when we gain our credibility, you know, when customer is confident with us, then they will also recommend other of their potential customers to us as well. So that's where we get referral businesses from them as well, because we gain the credibility, we gain the reputation from our customers that our report quality is good enough. In my point of view. So in my point of view, improving the quality of our report, improving the quality of the report is more important. Is more important than spending than on spending on advertising. On advertising, uh, 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 advertising is equally important. Why equally important? <laughs> Okay, okay. And also external uh, uh, as well. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. So therefore, I hope that you will consider my proposal to solve this important problem. I urge the management here to really look into this problem. Thank you. Okay.